That's pretty cool. That's really unique. Penumbra. Ooh, this is a good one. It's straight up a Gatling gun and knives. Oh, man. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, y'all, welcome back to another Terraria What Weapon Should Have Been. It's been a while. It's been a good minute since the last one. And today, we are checking out a mod called the Vampire Knives Extended Mod. Expanded? Extended? Expanded. I was close enough. Now, as you can see, this mod adds in a good bit of stuff. It's a little unorganized, which made it hard for me to set up for this video. So I kind of just like crammed everything in here and hopefully, you know, it's somewhat organized. I didn't organize it at all, I'll be honest. But yeah, this video has taken me a while because not only was all the stuff unorganized and I was trying to decide if I wanted to organize it in damage type or progression, but right when I was about to record the video originally, the mods I have were, were wrong. I loaded up the world and everything was deleted. Like all the chests I set up was deleted. That's my fault. So like I kind of didn't have motivation to set up everything again. It's all good. We're here today. Let's check it out. So as you can see, we got some armors. We got some accessories. We got some knives. We got some knives and we got some knives. Let us start off with the knives believe it or not but these aren't just any knives this mod expands vampire knives pretty much makes it its own whole subclass slash class and as we can see here we have defensive knives which is very very interesting let's go ahead and read what it says these knives form a protective copper wall when thrown each barrier can stop one projectile before it breaks so that's pretty much the same thing with all of them here i'll go ahead and take out the uh, stronger variant for some reason there was two iron ones i don't know why yeah i'll take out the uh, stronger ore variant for most of these uh we'll do uh pre-hard mode ones first i guess yep might as well and if we use them look at this this is so cool it puts up a defensive wall now i wonder can i move this wall with this no just had to check uh can i put like multiple or is it only like oh i can put multiple very cool so i could create like a whole barrier around me i guess let's go ahead and see it damage wise it's not gonna do a lot of damage but as you can see it does push monsters around it's a little buggy understandable it's kind of some very unique coding but yeah the whole point of it is to block projectiles so obviously let's spawn in something that shoots projectiles at us what's better than one of the most annoying early game invasion monsters a goblin archer boom there he is let's put up the barrier okay I, i'm gonna need him to shoot is he not shooting because i'm in god mode you gonna shoot at me bro okay i guess he he has some other business to attend to uh, that's fine we'll find someone else all right here we go we got a skeleton archer as you can see he's shooting at us boom look at this oh we shot through the little crack watch out now i'm not trying to get shot through the crack oh look at it it's blocking projectiles and they slowly break over time too very very cool it's so unique it's such a unique idea and i think it's so dope that there's something like this in the mod okay here we'll check out the other ones there's not really much to see with the other ones they're just different colors and some of them are obviously going to be stronger uh the higher you go up in tiers but there you go that was a majority of those we could check out the hard mode ones too might as well again i'm gonna check out the stronger variant i actually will check out the adamantite one because the adamantite one looks different i think i don't know it looks different here in the picture yeah we got the palladium ones oh look there's like a little force field around it so these are definitely different creates an aura around it randomly heals nearby players cool cool what about this one anything cool for this one summons petals from the aether to attack your enemies now, that's pretty fucking sweet let me see it in action here do i need to like hit them with it i don't know i don't know how this works it's pretty funny how it like pushes the monster around though like this shit can really mess up the ai all right we got the adamantite one anyone in proximity has a 15 percent chance to receive the shadow dodge buff that's pretty cool that's pretty cool that's really unique titanium anyone in proximity receives a titanium barrier buff cool we got shoots a piercing pedal out for every few seconds wait which one was that that was the shroomite one. Ooh, I, I don't think these are piercing petals. Did they like mess up the description? I think they did. But this is this does a good bit of damage for defense. We got the specter one. Has a high rate of reflection and summons a homing spectral spirit upon being hit. Uh, whoa, did you see that? It's shooting stuff around somewhere. It's shooting like backwards. I don't know what's going on. We got this one shoots a piercing petal. So I'm assuming this is the one that actually shoots a piercing petal, not the mushroom one. Yeah, this one's really cool. This is straight up like defense. I'm playing balloons over here. And our last one, the elemental one, fires fireballs every few seconds. Cool. 
very very cool so there you go that was all the defensive knives very very unique i am definitely impressed by that but yeah on to the next i guess let's go ahead let's do the armor and accessories actually we'll do that like second to last let's do these knives all right so some of these knives require ammo uh, aka throwing knives so i'm gonna take a couple of these put them in my inventory here but yeah some of them require ammo some of them don't again they weren't exactly the best organized so i don't really know i guess i will just take a bunch of them and we'll see from there let's start with this one arthur's caldevaluch i don't know that's a very big word that scares me looking at that word but i don't think this one uses ammo i think this one's just a regular one and as we can see toes a lot of knives as i'm expecting they also are healing me too so i wonder how all the healing stuff works there is an option when you join a world with this mod it gives you like a whole option choosing like the balancing of the knives which i think is really cool and i just chose the regular balancing option but next up here we got the tormenting spikes i believe these are molten ones because they are not doing the greatest damage to a hard mode enemy so they gotta be pre-hard mode next up we got hollowed knives these ones look like unicorn horns i'm assuming that's what they were going for here oh look at that got a lot of numbers coming my way what, was that mana and health i was healing after that we got harpy knives let's see these in action here uh probably should test it on the zombie not the hard mode enemy boom zombie insta kill get them out of here we got the horseman knives i'm expecting pumpkin heads with this one no i don't know he might die too quickly to see him Oh, I did see a pumpkin head. It was really, really fast, but one did eventually appear. What happens if I summon in like a bunch? Maybe I can, I can get one. Oh, there you go. All right, next up, viney knives. These ones look super weak, but actually no, they did pretty good damage. They only say four knife damage, but that was not bad. We got mana knives, mana stealing knives. It's very interesting. So if you're doing like a mage and vampire knife build, I guess, here you go. You got some mana stealing. All right, we got adamantite knives. Boom, werewolf. They make like a, a mining cobblestone, cobblestone noise. Very interesting. We got chlorified knives. Also is making that noise. Why does this do like zero damage? Is it because, oh, okay. I think these ones are actually using ammo now, I think. So it does matter what knife we have equipped. But yeah, like most of these are the same. Wait, are these cobalt ones? Oh yeah, see, it is changing like what it looks like. So depending on the ammo we have. Damn, this werewolf is strong as hell. This is a completely new world. Why is he so strong? We got copper knives. Imagine copper knives shooting out hard mode ones. We got crimtain ones. Boom. Holy, these ones are fast as hell. What the heck? We got demonite. Not as fast as the crimtain one. We got gold. Beautiful. Obviously, there is a good bit of uh, knives we could choose from. As you can see, tungsten, silver, platinum, palladium, regular throwing knives, crimtain. I don't know if they all do something different or not. It doesn't say, at least here. Maybe they do, though, if you equip them. But yeah, these are the knives I'm trying to just blow through real quickly. There's not really too much to show off with these ones. These ones are the less unique ones, I believe, especially since they use ammo, as you can see. So let's like go ahead and run through these ones really quickly because we want to get to the unique ones. The unique ones is where the stuff really goes crazy and really where the mod shines. But as you can see, most of these are going to be exactly the same because they're all using just regular ass throwing knives. Still, there is a couple of unique ones hidden amongst these, like this one, the Reaver Head, which requires shark teeth, I believe. So let's see this one in action. Very cool. It has a different look, as in the shark teeth are shooting out instead of just knives. But then we go back to the regular ones. You know, you got silver, you got titanium, tungsten, corrosion corrupt star okay this is different this is different i don't think these are the same these are really good whatever these are next up enchanted knives okay these uh, maybe don't require ammo i don't know this is really cool though and then last but not least the mandible knives oh look at that it shoots a little ant lions out of the floor that's sweet but there you go there was a majority of the ones that use actual throwing knives in them sweet beautiful some of them did not use throwing knives but i don't know the the mod is disorganized in terms of this area so i just grabbed whatever now let us get on to these knives these are the knives we want to see here as you can see a lot more unique i'll try and grab them i guess from like weakest to strongest order all right let us start with these ones these ones are fairly weak we got lesser vampire knives which i'm assuming are just weaker vampire knives that makes sense right maybe you get these ones early on maybe you don't who knows next up we got sengo's forgotten blade now that's a cool ass name right there 
there. They do good damage too against a hard mode enemy, so not bad. After that, we got scimitars. Imagine just getting a bunch of scimitars thrown at you. That that would hurt. We have the knife fury. Come on, we know what this is gonna do. Oh my god, look at that. You don't even throw any knives regularly. I thought you were gonna throw some regularly and then like stars would fall. Nah, you just straight up drop star furies from the sky. Next up, we got the sorcerer's saruk. Let's see it in action here. Ooh, okay. Look at that. It follows my cursor. Very nice. So I can control these. This is pretty good. This is pretty damn good. After that, we have the true demon scourge. Yes, let's see this in action. Ooh, it does the same thing. Cool. After that, we have Penumbra. Ooh, this is a good one. You know when it's shooting out like a fuck ton of knives, it's gonna be good. Not against hard mode enemies. The hard mode enemies, they're built different. All right, next up here, I have the regular vampire knives. Let's go ahead. Let's toss these ones at them. I don't know if these are like the pre-nerf or what, but these were from the mod. These weren't from vanilla, so I have no idea. After that, we have these support knives. So apparently they heal other players. That's pretty cool. I don't have another player to show off the heal. Oh, they're healing me. They're healing me too. So that's pretty good. They heal other players and they heal you. Not bad. All right, we are getting into more unique ones here. I think maybe we should start testing them out on a boss, I guess, because they are going to get pretty strong. As you can see, there's a whole like meter over here or something don't know what that does king slime is that a good enough thing to test on i don't know hold up i'm not in god mode all right king slime we got the wyvern's head let's just throw wyvern heads at enemies oh look at that that's really cool this might be one of my favorite knives so far that was just super unique all right next up we have wasp knives life stealing knives covered in wasp so we shoot wasp just stronger bees that's usually what wasp are they look like just bigger bees though i thought wasp looked different from the wasp gun i thought they were huge unless i'm just remembering incorrectly all right next up specter glove let's see this one can i shoot this through the wall maybe that's the special effect probably i don't know i haven't tested anything else yeah that is a special effect cool i don't think it lists that here no okay next up prismatic arcanum this just sounds awesome oh my god it's like the rainbow rod it follows my crosshair or my cursor that's amazing after that we move into the terror blades and other terror blade type weapons here let's see the terror blades themselves cool they're exactly how i expect them to work we have the arthur's true kelavuluch and then we got umbra let's see umbra first Ooh, that's pretty good and then let us see arthur's weapon here cool very very strong and then we got two more before we like head into like the final tier of the knives and what i would consider like the final tier moon lord tier we have rukasu's bundle of tesla coils this one i'm assuming is a martian weapon let's see him in action whoa that is a big like area of effect looks really cool too and then we got the plague wasp which i'm assuming are very similar to just the regular wasp just they have the plague and it also says please enable calamity so i'm assuming it's a calamity mod collaboration all right so let's bring out a slightly stronger boss here let's bring out the queen bee for these ones so these first four here are pillar knives vortex stardust solar and nebula let's see them in action i expect crazy damage from these ones not bad one more queen bee well there's gonna be a lot more queen bees solar knives i expect these ones to be probably the strongest i don't know i didn't really compare the numbers this one seems kind of slow for damage okay what's the strongest strongest is the stardust one so we'll do the vortex ones next the vortex ones actually did some pretty good damage right there so these ones are not too bad and let's move on to the stardust ones let's see these ones okay they feel like they do less damage than the vortex ones what the heck the numbers lie the numbers lie all right after that we have the astronomical singularity maybe these are like all these ones combined into one let's see look at that i'm correct all right let's see them in action then i'm assuming well it's exactly what i just said it was it's gonna be everything combined into one so it should kill the queen bee a lot faster all right next up we have knives this is the meow mirror one i expect to see just some straight up raw insta kill damage oh pretty close i hear the cats i don't see them oh here they come here they come maybe we test it on a stronger enemy we do golem now because that's how strong these knives are get getting we can fight a hard mode boss beautiful all right after that we have the wrathful star of course we know what weapon that's based after let's see it in action here this thing does not seem that strong honestly 
It feels like the Star Fury one. The Star Fury one just felt a little slow to be good, but it's still not bad. It just it takes a little bit longer. It trades its unique attack for its raw power, which is fine. I'll take a unique damaging item over raw power anytime because at least there's a little bit more thought put into the weapon. But yes, our last two vampire knives. These ones I expect to go crazy. We have the Vampiric Prism and we have Zenith's true blades come on you know it's gonna be good boom let's spawn in the golem let's see the prism in action here okay i see knives shooting out slowly and it's starting to pick up oh man we're getting to that full speed now it's straight up a gatling gun and knives oh man that was just beautiful it also does cost life to shoot it so if you're not in god mode you know it might hurt a little bit but next up the zenith's true blades or zenith's true blades let's see it in action we're gonna fight the golem again this thing i expect to go crazy i expect it to go crazy more than one not allowed i don't know what that means i'm just here to show off what the weapon does okay it's not really going that crazy i think it's because it shoots a random knife and if it shoots a weak one then obviously a weak one is not going to do that much damage but there you go there was all the knives in the vampire knives mod there might have been some i missed again this thing is kind of messy so if there's a knife that i missed you know partially not my fault but yeah let's go ahead and finish this off by looking at the armor and stuff all right so the armor there isn't a lot of armor in this mod so i don't know how good this armor is it's kind of weird when a mod adds in its own damage type but then doesn't have a lot of armors i don't know this just says damage this is a, this doesn't even say knife damage let me let me get one that says knife damage just in case but yeah let me put on this one psionic hood threaded with pulsing energy look at that i look like i'm about to go skiing or something uh what's the set bonus chance to spawn nine homing projectiles you can see there's a couple other things that says uh homing projectiles so if i spawn this dude in well, where's the homing projectiles where's the chance i don't know how, how slim is the chance four percent chance oh i didn't even see the number okay are the homing projectiles like the blood that's coming to me or is that just you know the life steal i don't know four percent that's kind of low maybe let me try a different knife maybe it'll come in faster i don't know four percent that's usually pretty high in terraria <laughs> But, I mean, I, okay, I try my best to show off the set bonus. Alright, next up, we have Vampiric Stuff. Cool, this looks like any other metallic armor set or steel armor set, whatever. Set bonus, enemies are more likely to target you. Have a 1% chance to steal the life of the enemies around you upon being hit. Okay, so if I take damage, which I'm in god mode, so it doesn't matter. If I take damage, we get a chance to steal life when I take damage, something like that. Cool, cool, cool. The armor itself doesn't look the greatest. It could be a little bit more unique. And next up, we have the spectral set here. Set bonus, by pressing the support buff key, you use store charge charges indicated by a visor intensity to buff the players around you cool it's a support armor set you like to see it all right but what about all of these in here we have a bunch of hoods that just buff your knives with uh different debuffs we got fire icor curse flames a bunch of stuff here i don't i wonder if these actually go on you no they don't that's that's a little bit upsetting i'm not gonna lie kind of wanting to wear a hood all right what about the other ones we have ancient vampiric tablet double tap transform key to transform into a bat i feel like we've seen stuff like this before hell hold up it's a wing thing that's pretty unique that it's a wing thing or a wing accessory oh look at this there's an option to pull hood up or pull hood down bro i want to see this i want to see this so uh, can i put on the actual hoods and they i can put them on oh maybe i don't know <laughs> oh there you go oh that's pretty cool that's pretty cool i can't move with this hood on okay so you can't actually put these on beautiful you love to see it oh yes okay that's way better than that's like plus 10 to the mod all right but what was i doing i was trying to set up some double tap to transform into bat i don't know let's use g boom am i bat boom bat bat mode activate no double tap you guys saw me put it on g and i know you can hear me hitting the key <laughs> All right, I tried my best there. What else do we got? We got a crit emblem, cool. We have an extra finger. You know what they say, five's better than four, but wouldn't it be an extra finger? So you mean six? Uh, we got mechanical fingers. They seem to move on their own. These are not telling me what they do. <laughs> well, what does, does this mean I shoot more knives? I don't know. I'm assuming maybe I shoot more knives or I throw them faster because I have more fingers. Okay, it looks like more knives. I throw more knives. It would be nice if they told me 
that they did that instead of just saying you know what they say five is better than four you know i would like a description of what the accessory does we got some wet stones here increases damage or increases critical strike chance and this one increases damage and this one increases damage and critical strike chance so maybe i combine these two nope they're not materials very interesting so you could get really strong with some of the accessories that's very nice i bet i could take on a hard mode enemy kind of yeah it's doing good damage it's holding them at bay but yeah there you go there was the vampire knives expanded mod you can see why it took me a while to get to it there's a lot of content to cover plus when the world like deleted all the chests i had you know I, there's a lot to set back up but still a very cool and unique mod it expands something that you probably don't think about too much nowadays and that's the vampire knives and the reason why most people probably don't think about them anymore is because they got nerfed into hell like i stopped caring about vampire knives after what was it 1.2 1.3 whenever they got nerfed into hell same thing with like the spectral armor i don't really pay attention to you know that's what happens when you get nerfed into hell you become forgettable cough cough reaver shark cough cough black spot but yeah make sure to check out the mod it's a cool mod maybe a future playthrough with it i don't know we will see but yeah make sure you guys leave suggestions for other subclasses other things you want to see overhauled and see a video like that for some of them are a little bit harder to do than others i know people are asking like can we see a scythes one it's kind of hard to find a specific mod just for scythes i could probably find like a bunch of mods that you know add in sides but like it's i kind of want to find just one mod one made mod that like upgrades the stuff because i don't want people to install like six mods to upgrade one subclass but yeah again hope you guys enjoyed i'll see y'all next time